just a quick one. What I've done, I've drilled some holes in my FK2 airbox just now. Um, this was a right pain to get out and I don't recommend doing it with the airbox in the car because as you can see through it, there are some things in your way. So I took it out, put it on top of a cardboard box and started drilling some holes. Basically what I did to take it off, this is a right pain to get off. What you need to do, there's this little clip, not clip, um, hinge at the back. So you unclip these four here um, and then what you need to do, you kind of lever it up, pull it towards you, but it also clips over the edge here. Um, so it's really, really awkward to get it out. It will eventually just pop out. I think it's a lot easier to get it back in than it is to take it out. To get the bottom bit out, there's a bolt there and a bolt down there. They're 10 mil bolts. You do not need to remove this or do anything with this. What you do need to do is pull upwards and it, it helps to get in the side here and pull this up. Um, this entire side, pull this upwards. Uh, I've only got one hand. You will need two hands to do it because it's a real pain, especially if it's never been off before. Uh, it's a 2007 car, so um, it was quite well on there. What you also need to do, there's a Jubilee clip at the back here uh, with a little, I think it's a six mil. You take that off or loosen it at the very least. You need to loosen it a lot more than you would think. Otherwise it won't pop off properly because there's a little bit on the end um, that will keep it stuck on. You also need to take this one off. This is just a little little hose clamp. If I can get it turned back around to put it back on. So this one, you just you push these together. Excuse the dodgy camera work there. There you go, push those together and then push that as hard as you can. Helps to use a pair of pliers. I might use a pair of pliers in a minute if I can't get this on. Yeah, the other one you need to bolt on. Um, do this after you've taken the top of the airbox off. In the middle of putting this back together, just realized, do not forget this pipe down here. It's apparently very awkward to get back on if you've put the bottom of the box back in properly. So what helps on that one is if you get your thumb inside, push down on the pipe, and then just wiggle it into place and it will eventually go on there. I need a new air filter. This one is disgusting. Um, I'm gonna pop this in here, like so and then I'm gonna fiddle about with the cap to get that on top. Pop that in there. See if I can do it one-handed. <laughs> uh, the answer is yes. So it goes on a hell of a lot easier than it came off. One clip, two clip, three clip, four. That's on there solid. The last thing you definitely don't wanna forget before you put your ignition on is your mass sensor. So I'm just gonna make sure that's dry because it's been raining a bit. There we go. Flip that in. That's all solid. That's not going anywhere. Sorted.